Are you wondering how to create campaigns in Active Campaign? In this video, we're going to go over one of the most powerful features of Active Campaign, which is sending email campaigns to your contacts in order to build relationships with them and eventually convert them into customers. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for Europe based businesses. Let's dive in. So first, a quick overview of the campaign feature inside Active Campaign. This gives you the power to send emails to build those relationships with your contacts. Otherwise, you just have a CRM filled with contacts and their information, and you'd be sending out one-off emails or not able to reach them at all. So with the campaign feature, you can send these personalized emails to as many contacts as you want, all the way from smaller segments that you break down, and we'll show you how to do that in future videos, to entire lists of contacts that you have. Before we dive into Active Campaign itself and go through the steps of creating a campaign, it's really important to understand the difference between automations and campaigns. We have an entire video on this topic here, but just to break it down super quickly, campaigns are best for one off emails, email blasts, you might think of them as. And this would be your newsletters, your product updates, uh, your flash sales. We personally use them primarily for newsletters and for product updates. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute. Uh, but let's first cover automations. Now, automations are better for evergreen marketing efforts that can send out emails based on specific conditions uh, or actions by contacts when they meet certain conditions or uh, they take certain actions. These are evergreen. You set them up and the contacts can run through these automations and receive the emails uh, like in a nurture sequence, post-purchase sequence, or webinar registration. You don't want to be sending these out or scheduling them manually. You want these to run constantly. Uh, based on these actions that your contacts are taking inside your overall marketing system. Uh, and these are best for automation. So now that you understand the difference, let's go over some recommendations before you create your campaign. Now, first, you want to keep the objective of your campaign in mind. Typically, when we're sending one email, we have one main objective in mind with that email. Otherwise, the message tends to get lost in too much copy. That's too lengthy, maybe it doesn't get read, et cetera. So we do try to keep it to uh, one goal at least. Even if you have multiple paragraphs, it's one main goal. What do you want to achieve? Are you updating your contacts? Are you nurturing? Are you uh, kind of selling more in that email? Uh, think about that first before you write the campaign and try to achieve one specific goal. And then number two, keep it simple at first when you're sending campaigns, okay? So you can focus on consistency. Uh, we've seen two times a week minimum work very well for uh, many of our customers and just focus on getting that email or two emails out every week, sending it out consistently, picking a time, picking a day uh, and sending it out to make your contacts aware that you're going to be reaching out, uh, get them to expect uh, and understand the expectations of what they'll be receiving and then expect those emails coming from you every single week so that when it's time to send out a campaign for something that you want to convert them in and, and get them deeper into your brand, you'll have an engaged audience that's already used to opening, clicking and engaging with your emails. Number three, if you find yourself sending out the same email campaigns manually to your contacts, this likely means that you could solve this use case with automations. This is typically one of the first things that uh, new customers coming in, they're saying, you know, I'm overwhelmed by all of these manual uh, campaigns or email responses that I'm sending out, which is in a future video of the first week of Wildmail, and it'll teach you how to set up those automations. So if you're sending out these, these one-off emails over and over and over, uh, that could be better served with automations. And lastly, number four, when you're more experienced be sure to get the most out of Active Campaign's segmentation features so you can send hyper personalized campaigns versus these uh, blasts out to your entire list. Really take advantage of the power of Active Campaign to personalize uh, your marketing efforts and provide your contacts with a really good experience and engaging experience with your brand. So, with that said, now let's dive into how to create a campaign inside Active Campaign. So, first, inside Active Campaign, we're going to go to campaigns in the left hand menu. And you'll see this is where all of your campaigns live when you've created them uh, over time. Remember to be consistent with these. So what we're going to do, let's go to create a campaign. And I'll just give it a name, test. And for our campaigns, we are always choosing standard. Now you may in the future use the split testing feature, which allows you to test things like the content, the subject line, 
uh, who the email is from. And this is definitely something you want to be using in the future. Uh, but first, to start out, again, keep it simple. Go with the standard option here. Automated just takes you into automations. Autoresponder is like a simplified version of the automations feature. RSS trigger is just for when your blog uh, or event feed gets updated. And then date based. Uh, again, is just a different version of an automation. You can still schedule your standard campaigns uh, out. Don't worry about it. Um, you don't have to use date base in order to do this. I'll show you how to do this in just a second. So we'll click next. And here's where we're going to select who we want to send this to. Now you can check out this video to learn how to use the segment builder in order to send more personalized emails to your smaller segments of your overall lists. But for our case, we can select main list. You can see here the segment builder pop up. Again, check out that video to learn how to use that and then go to next. And here you'll be able to choose which designer you want to use, text only, custom HTML, classic designer or email designer. If you're going to use dynamic content, again, we've got another video on that. Uh, you're going to use for right now the classic designer as of this date today in 2022. The classic designer will allow you to do that. Uh, otherwise, you can go ahead and use the new email designer here. That feature will roll out for the, the new version of the email designer soon. And select either the email designer or the classic designer. We'll go ahead with the classic and hit continue. And from here, you can select past campaigns that you've used as a template. Or you can go to design templates, basic templates. You can see here you've got selling a single product, coupon code, limiting, uh, limited time offer, weekly newsletter. These are all great for one off campaigns that you'll be sending using the campaign feature and active campaign. So you can select one of these. Let's just do the weekly newsletter. You select who it's from, the from email. And the email subject, I'll just put test. And you can always update this uh, later on, and I'll show you how in the designer. Hit continue. And now, once you're inside, this is where you're going to be able to design your email right inside the email designer. We have another video specifically on all the features of the email designer, but this will give you a, a quick overview. You can change your logo at the top, adjust the copy here a CTA button if you'd like. And then you can also adjust the footer. We have a video showing you how to adjust the footer in your emails right up here. Now, once you've got your copy inside the email, it's ready to go. You can click the gear here and again, adjust the subject if you want. You can add in a personalization tag, like the person's name, etc. Adjust who it's from. And then always, always, always test your campaign. You want to make sure that what it looks like here inside the builder is how it's going to look when someone receives it. We do recommend uh, limiting the amount of images that you use and videos that you use. Again, we have another video with 15 tips on deliverability and how to boost deliverability, how to make sure that you're not ending up in the spam folder. Um, and so definitely make sure to test all of your campaigns, send it to yourself, not only on desktop, but on mobile. And you can use that button right there, send test, make sure it passes the spam check and then hit close, go to next. This will give you a summary of your email campaign here. It'll show you how many contacts this is going to send to, right? We leave our open and re uh, red tracking on. We don't always have link tracking. We have other ways that we're test, uh, tracking whether or not someone has clicked through. So you can pretty much copy the settings here when you're just starting out. And then here is where you'll be able to schedule your campaign. Now you can send it immediately right up here with send now, or you can set it for a time in the future, set it for tomorrow, next week, next month, or a specific date. And then of course a specific time. And it lets you know which time zone you're sending it in uh, based on your account. Okay. So once you've gone through, you've tested this, you've previewed, you can either schedule it or send it now. If it's not ready, someone else needs to check it on your team. You can click save and exit. I'll do that now because this is just an example, of course, and I'll show you quickly one of our newsletter examples. Okay. So here is a newsletter that we sent out recently. 
And you can see here, we've got the subject, the type, uh, who we sent it out to when it was sent. This is a preview of the newsletter. And this went out to people that had opted into our newsletter on our main English list. So it was a smaller segment, not just our entire list, but the people that had actually said that they wanted to receive our newsletter. So this is how you set up your first email marketing campaign inside Active Campaign. If you have any questions about this feature, please drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out.